Okay, folks, I'm going to be able to show you the 17th in a minute. And what we're doing is watching. This is Earth here. Okay, I was wrong. It's not. This is not Venus. And this is not Mercury. More than likely, this is Jupiter. And it's shooting. For, it doesn't really matter at this point in time right now. I really wish I could exactly know. Uh, I might be able to. I'm going to play you a movie here. Because basically, this is the sun doing its action there. And that is Earth to the right. This little flare right there. As we play along, and the good thing is the flaring calms. And I kind of mentioned it before that I thought that it might be a Earth, but then I was like, well, it's low, and it's basically, and it's hard to tell from what's coming off. So this was all from the 15th. Let me go make a movie real fast for the 14th, which I thought I already did. But and here's where it came to light, folks. Basically, straight up, they marked it Earth. They finally marked it Earth. And I can get up to like 150 here, bring it down, and over, blow it up a little bit here on the screen. See, that's as big as you can go there, and I can pop it to 125. They got kind of proprietary stuff, and then it'll go to 100. I think that'll look all right. And then what I always do is I just open it up in a window and then make a movie. Now, what I've got, I'm just showing you that this is the 17th, okay? And then I'll go down real fast, too, and see that's Earth there. And that should be Jupiter then because the idea that it's the biggest thing in our solar system. You see, Earth is quite tiny looking. But then, like I say, the odds, it, we basically, I'm going to end up looking and we'll, what I'll do is too is I'm going to be down there and I'll open up the last. But that's going to be behind. I want a head. I'll have to go to a head and pull up and, and take a look and see what. It should be kind of like straight across even though, but then the angle of the satellite would be different, you see. So you don't really know for sure. So basically, I open this one up, and this is the last shot that they had of the date and time, 2300 hour and 29 minutes. Save some. But since they came all the way to the front of the sun, you know, they basically they turned right as much as they could to get this shot, and they got Earth. Then basically, I'll go to a head, and I should be able to find out what that probably high odds is right there, which I think it may be uh, Jupiter, just like I was saying, because Venus, I think, would be to the right behind it. Earth, uh, basically Mercury and Venus both right now. Not really behind Earth, but the idea, the angle, the shot from A, that you basically uh, you don't get Mercury right now and you don't get Mars, and that's what I was doing the planet one. And that planet one's going to be in the next couple videos or something like that. But because I, I just wanted to make sure to clarify that I've kind of messed up a little bit, but the idea, see, they didn't have it marked. And it was hard to tell when you're shooting off of, because they don't give you a map to see. You can see, I, I can see what's going on and know what's going on for the star maps from what the area that the parameters they could be shooting in. I've showed that, and then when I was showing you the map, just watch the map videos, the last ones I've done. So basically, uh, quit the babble and show you the movie on the 14th. I'm going to give you a 14th movie. So it's going to be kind of small, so you want to put it on full screen, and then you can zoom in and take a look at it, because i got to keep it. I don't have time to do all the ordering, but I'm going to give you all this, basically a fast movie real fast. This was from the 14th. That's how much our Earth atmosphere was flaring. And then, actually, I got lucky that I was actually popped in to the 17th because I had one in line for the 17th there. But, see, they didn't tell us it's the 17th until... And now, I've already, I'm wasting time showing you the 15th and the 16th, even though I got footage. But I'll go ahead and show you real fast that there's really not much going on with the atmosphere. So, on the, the, the 14th, our atmosphere was hella flaring, Okay and uh, very magnetical to the sun. So basically the sun was grabbing the little baby boy and girl or whatever and the whole earth and saying, come on. So pretty interesting. And uh, I showed you the movie of the 17th then, and it's calmed down. I'll, I'll show you something real fast of the 15th and 16th. Now, I can't emphasize enough. I can't point, but I can give you a shot. And basically you're going to see that the comet was in front of Venus. Okay, the comet went across in front of Venus. Could have skidded off of it, basically made a bunch of explosions. It had a basically static electrical action going on before. We, uh, that's what all the action I was seeing before that I was giving you. And I don't have a date and everything on here. And then you can see the energy off of the supergiants coming in here on the right. And they're getting a bit pissed off about me getting this shot because I've done it a little bit before. And that's the comet going across in front of Venus. Okay, over top or... A, very close parameters to Venus to be able to catch that because that's basically the comet.
coming through okay and that energy ring of the atmosphere explosion it's not as powerful as the sun so it's kind of just sitting out there in the gray and you see it in the red and it's just kind of hanging out there because basically the atmosphere on Venus pretty much got whammoed okay way worse than it ever does from the CME from the sun and that's the sun right there okay I'll put the magnifying glass about what the sun's like there and then to the left yep that's CME action from the sun and then the lower part there that's not a CME that is the energy from the supergiants okay and there's basically a pain in the ass because the idea that I can't see the window to see what shots I'm giving you but no matter what the 16th it calmed down and I'll also show you on the 17th you know I've already kind of showed you the 17th and I'll go back to that real fast now see this is B so and then you can see the flaring see from such a long ways away it just looks like a line okay and that's what I've been showing you already before so going ahead and getting us back into looking at the I showing you the 16th it basically was calm it had a little flaring on the 15th that I already kinda of think I showed and basically let me open up this video here was it folks basically I was just showing you and I can get this in real fast I went in there to set you and then it basically you can't get in okay and then here I got the earth I'm like oh shit I gotta make a video and then I had a had some business I had to do basically got pulled away saved the video so they marked it earth finally and that's the 14th and I'd like I made the movie here now and showed you see they weren't giving us footage you see and all of a sudden I got the 15th 16th and the 17th and they didn't show the 13th so there's got to be some really actually that's what I need to do really fast here is get through this here I'm listening to my voice and then trying to figure out what the heck I should actually show you. The 14th, you see, that's that's the flare in there. And then basically... I went in here and show you this. You basically... See, I showed you that it was going, and then I just... I don't know if that's when I actually told you that the idea that I didn't really know if it was Earth or not. I know I mentioned it somewhere, that the, you know, but the idea that it should be, and then I figured out that the idea that it's got to be Mercury because it's low. Okay, and then this is some footage that I was showing you just a few minutes ago that it, that I just showed you. And let me get through this here real fast. Yep, showing you that the idea of the magnetical lines coming off there. And then here's a little bit better shot of what I was showing you on uh, the because this will be and then you'll see how much they're not allowing me. I'm gonna let this play here, and you're gonna see this is the actual what I first taped of the comet going in front try to enlarge the screen here and there's the energy down on the right hand corner and see when I went back in the second time they were making it a pain in the ass to be able to show you as good a shot as that there as the comet went in front of the deal see it's a little bit bigger there so let me fast forward here a little bit so that I get this all in at least I didn't lose the footage see what I get at the end here that's the CME from so I'm letting you know and then we're going to go in here and we're going to look and just remember, keep this all in mind. I That for next year, November. Plus, everybody's going to be freaking because they're going to see it early. Let me go show you what we're seeing, too. Now, I've already showed you about this is the comet that we basically we've been looking at. That's the, the CME uh, atmospheric reaction of Earth, magnetical to the sun. Uh, bearing, and you can see the energy right there in your eyes. You can see the electrical energy in the red format and also in the blue format you can see earth getting drug along by the sun okay uh... we got planets out there okay more than what and let me go ahead and pull up a and give you some examples here of mars is not in the shot okay can't be because it's way behind the sun and way behind stereo all the b the b would have to turn around okay and the a would have to get up way higher and shoot way the hell over top and it wouldn't be able to do it i don't believe you know, and nothing's impossible, but no matter what, you cannot get Mars in the shot on B, okay? And we're going to look at, also, you can't get it on A either. We're going to look at all the planets on A, and we're gonna, you know, I've already counted the magnetical lines, so we're going to start identifying them. And you're going to end up knowing that even if you just count Mars ain't going to be in it, more than likely Neptune, Uranus, and Pluto aren't in it, and then we only got four planets and we got eight magneticals. And even alone, we got seven planets and we got eight magneticals. Okay, so you got to pick out your 
your uh, your planet. Now, we can only get the 14th right now, okay? That's all they're letting us see on A ahead, okay? Because basically of I showed you I found the comet tail that came by, okay? Because the sun's behind the satellite here or behind the solar panel and not really. Basically, it's behind the satellite because the idea you can see all the sunlight. It's basically at an angle and you can see all the sunlight hitting all the planets, okay? And we count all the magnetical lines and you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight because there's basically right there there's a magnetical okay you can even see it at small resolution five six seven eight nine actually okay we're gonna zoom in on that one there on this stuff here we can go ahead and pop in at 400 real fast and we'll go down now to begin with on the right hand side see you got that one there check that out there we got a planet coming down there it's not a moon okay so there's a planet there, okay? And then that, there's a planet in here. And there it is, you see? People would probably think and start thinking, oh, it's, a, it's that, that's a planet there. Now, there's a possibility that could be a planet. But limiting out here, and then look at what they've been in here doing some sh shots and and take and check that out overlap and stuff like that you can see some stuff there so that's very interesting there they've been looking at something there really close over there by Jupiter and stuff like that check that out we got a good shot here and I'll show you which one it is in here in a minute but this is the actual factual ladies and gentlemen no matter what you got Venus Earth Jupiter that's three planets now Mars can't be okay because it can't, you just ain't gonna get the shot in here. And there's also a magnetical there too. But then that could be, and there you got a planet, you see? So that's below Jupiter. And then I'm gonna give you a map that we can take and look at how we should be sitting here. And then you got that planet there. So we're finding more than what I was even thinking of before. So there is three magneticals right there and then there's three magneticals because this is Venus so you got six planets right there that means this stuff is in the solar system and magnetic to the Sun ladies and gentlemen okay so we got a lot of planets out there that we're discovering on Soho and they've had to have known about these for a long time and I know because I've seen they know about the three suns that are in our solar system that the physicists talked about and the whole nine yards And then you end up with that planet right there off that one. So what we're going to do in the next video is basically start trying to figure out which planets these are, even if they could possibly be Neptune and Pluto, and they're not. And then you got this one, and you got this one, and this one's very faint. But right now, at this point in time, I'm not even worried about that one. You can discount that one now. Okay, and then you got that planet there on that magnetical there. Okay, these are planets in our solar system, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. And you all go from the coordinates, and there's one down here. Like I showed you down there, there's a planet. And also, you got that planet there on the right. Whoop, sorry, there. You got that one there. That's a magnetical there, a line. And I'll pump up a little bit more in the next video, too, and get the lines more thick so you can see them. And I'm moving back over. And then you got Venus, because it's the closest to the satellite. Earth and Jupiter, and then you got that planet there. I'm going to, I didn't point right on it, but see, you got that planet there. And I was thinking that could be Mer uh, Mercury right now. Now, I don't think I could, I could might, might not be wrong on that because Mercury's so damn small and it should be closer to the sun. You see? And then you do get disoriented because the idea they're zooming in on Jupiter. Okay? Now, this is on A. Okay? So you got to remember we're shooting from A, and this is going to be the whole next video. We'll try to map these planets out and see what the heck they are. Because these are out there. The planet, and all the ones I zoomed in on, this is a planet here. These are planets in our solar system, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Associated with the magnetical of our sun. And also there's a couple stars or something that are bleeding through the satellite here that could end up being in our solar system, stars or planets, okay? So, 
the next video, we're going to try to map all this out. And let me give you a little beginner map.